So this is a micro server. Uh, the goal, the main goal is like taking a small part of what internet has to offer, put it offline on the server, and then you can put it anywhere where uh, internet is not available or where electricity is not available or both. Uh, quite cheap, easily duplicable. You know, you can repeat it anywhere you want. Um, and it works offline with, you can put it on the, how do you say, uh, with uh, solar panels. Um, and then anybody with a Wi-Fi uh, machine, let's say, uh, it can be a laptop, it can be a smartphone, can connect and can access the contents of this uh, micro server. So of course, what is the content? Huh? So for now, there are four platforms. Um, there's a website server, because um, as a development worker, I work for Chefferie uh, Chiefdom in uh, Eastern Congo, and uh, they told me that they don't have access to their laws, their own laws. So um, I asked the author of a website taking, uh, that is uh, offering all the laws to the internet public, let's say, uh, if I can take a copy of its website and put it on the microserver, and so I can, and it's there. So now you can access all the laws uh, in a rural area of uh, Congo. That's already um, a room full of books, let's say. Uh, there's a virtual library. A virtual library that's where you yourself can put books, digital books, of course. So um, it can be the books, the reports, the budgets, um, or anything, uh, evaluations uh, of your partner organization. Of, of, it can be books of children, it can be anything. It can be a, a, uh, yes, but that's the last platform. <laughs> the Gutenberg project is the next platform. <laughs> it's all included already. So here you have to put yourself the books. Huh? So it's normally local productions. That means uh, books from your partner organization, your books or from their other partner organizations. Um, then you have a Wikipedia platform. It's not only for Wikipedia, but you can put the whole of Wikipedia on there, Wiktionary, you can put the Gutenberg project on there. And there are many other projects, uh, for example, Bouquineux, uh, with it's like the, the Gutenberg project, but also uh, Biologie tout compris, uh, with um, really a lot of videos that explain basic concepts of uh, biology, for example, and many others, many, many others. And then there's a learning platform that's called Colibri. And uh, there you can ha download, for example, children's books. Uh, uh, this is the wrong um, uh, icon. So um, there, it's a, with a teaching software where you can have the Khan Academy with um, primary and secondary school. You can have resources for teachers. You can have uh, reading books for small children, for elder children. Um, any kind of resource for, well, this is meant in general for children. So students from, let's say, uh, five to uh, 18 years old. Uh, and well, that's about it. Uh, this is what is what you can do now. Um, it's quite robust. It doesn't have moving parts inside, so there's no hard drive. So it can fall if you want. If, if it can fall on the ground, it will not break. It doesn't need electricity. It's still working. You can see it here. Uh, it has a small battery, and it has um, how do you say? If the battery reaches 20%, it shuts down. If it then gets reconnected to uh, electricity, if the battery reaches 50%, then it turns on again. So you just have to put this with the solar panel uh, hidden somewhere, and then you have your server. If you want to add information, you don't have to, you ha don't have to be connected with this physically. You connect through your smartphone to your computer and you just add books. So this can be completely hidden, no problem. Wireless, wireless connection. Yes. It's a wireless connection 10 to 15 meters because it's, of course, it's a small wireless, I don't know what it's called, emitter. It's like, a, it's quite small here. So uh, if you want to increase the range, uh, you can buy an antenna and then you have to install it, of course, or you can connect it with the local LAN. That this can become very, very interesting for the producer organizations. Of course, there's producer organizations operating in the exchange. You need already to manage your data. Yes. You need to get the data from your mem members, for example. Yes. Then you will need, for example, to have your website. You need to have documents you produce yourself, annual reports, yes. bylaws, statutes, and all these things. This can make business really. Yes. How much do you need to, to buy? 
Uh, well, these are the prices of all the elements uh, because you have to you have to compose it yourself. So um, it adds a small degree of complicity, uh, complexity, but um, it's very flexible. Youth employment, young digital professionals, ICT professionals that uh, you train to do that. Uh, I am a development worker, I work for one partner organization, and so my goal is to have one server. <laughs> I know that. Uh, but I, I it's that. possible, of course. This is too beautiful to be only for one. That's why I'm presenting it here, and I will uh, help anybody that's, that wants to invest in this. Um, already working for GIZ, so for free, of course. Uh, and uh, everything, all the information is available on the micro server right now. So if you want to uh, have the information, I've got two main reports. Imagine, in Nigeria there is, there is an initiative for young professionals. Yes. Eric, also in high and making the bridge between the two sectors. This is, can be some seed money to this. They could provide, for example, some services for each other. Yes. Make business out of it. Well, um, please take a card.